Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Cube Escape the Cave. This is the 11th game in the Cube Escape slash Rusty Lake series. If you haven't seen the previous Cube Escape and Rusty Lake games, I have a playlist in the description that has them all in order. However, you don't really need to see all games in the series in order to enjoy this one. It's just if you want a broader view of the overall narrative that connects each game. It's enjoyable by itself as just a puzzle game as they all are, I'm assuming. Anyway, this is the last Cube Escape game. The only one after this in the series is Rusty Lake Paradise, which I'll be doing in a future video, of course. And let's just go ahead and jump in. If you don't know what this series is about at all, it's basically a surreal point and click horror adventure in which you solve inventory puzzles and unveil a larger story very reminiscent uh very reminiscent of twin peaks so let's go ahead and get started winter 1972 of course this is mr crow right here as we know from the last game among others oh i think it's just automatically moving me in there's a glint at the end of the cave Now, I've been doing a pretty good job keeping up with the story. I don't quite have the timeline down, though. There's a lot of dates to remember, so if I don't remember where exactly this occurs in the Rusty Lake timeline, please forgive me. Let's go, first things first, open up these drawers. Got a knife there. And matches. Classic. And a Petri dish. Great. Off to a terrific start. There's a little doggo. Hi. Okay, we got a lot of stuff to work through here. Drag. All the way over. Okay. What am I trying to do here? Okay, so wait. I'm trying to prevent the spider from being the insects. Got it. Uh, there we go. This seems easy enough. A lot of weird puzzles in Rusty Lake. Obviously, that's the first one. There we go. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, he got one. He devoured it. Start over. That's the first one we do. Let's do that one. There. 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 Okay. Now, I know these games aren't for everyone, but I really enjoy them because I like puzzles. I like solving things. Tricked you. And, uh, let's see. Right there. Yeah. And I like the art style of this game. It's, uh... Very cartoony in some spots, but it has a nice style all to its own. I'm, I'm screwed. I screwed myself. Okay, great. Congratulations, you had a meal. There we go. I was overcomplicating it as always. Give me that. Book. Okay, so we got a book. Who wants to read, am I right? Oh, hi. I need my drink. We're Grandpa. What? We're Dale Vandermeer's Grandpa. I need my drink. The one who shot the rabbit in uh, Cube Escape Case 23, I believe. Okay, we'll take the pot. We got a lot to pick up here. Gotta grind something up in there. Is that a key? No, that's that's to form a key. Okay, so we're supposed to pour some sort of material in there and create a key, probably for the drawer. Hello. Help. That's a little creepy. Can I get you to do it again? No? Okay, so we gotta repair that if we wanna pump him full of oxygen. Uh, We'll go ahead and light this. Hello. Yeah, hi. You okay? You doing all right? 
You want to eat this bug? I think we're supposed to direct this to him somehow. Picked up the wood. So we can start a fire somewhere. Uh, in here, maybe? Maybe we roast something? Maybe we put... Okay. We put the pot over the fire. What do we put in the pot? Some sort of food. Oh, here we go. This will give me what I need. Chapter 1. The Vanderbooms. Okay, so we just played Rusty Lake Roots, so we just gotta reconstruct the family tree. I believe it's... Okay, James. And then Mary. So, this won't make sense if you haven't seen Rusty Lake Roots. Well, I guess it will, because you can kind of just match up their silhouettes. They did a good job, actually, of making sure that you could do that. Like I said, they're pretty good about... ...letting each game stand on its own. And this confirms my suspicions. That is Laura. At the end of the Rusty Lake Roots video, I was like... ...that's Laura, right? We don't know her name, though, until now. The girl in the dress. And then... Yes, it is the reincarnation of this dude, William Vanderboom. So we got, we got a picture of him. Chapter two, the detective, Dale Vandermeer, the traveler. Okay, do we put this? No, okay. So he reincarnated as Laura. They're connected somehow, I guess. From what we know, Dale discovered Laura's corpse in Cube Escape, case 23. I'm not sure what to make of the rest of this yet, though. Chapter 3, The Cubes. Aldous Vanderboom, The Crow. So what does this say? Relive your past life, face your demons. The past is never dead, it is not even past. The memories are not only the key to the past, but also to the future. Thank you. Chapter 4, A Higher Consciousness. Laura Vanderboom, The Reborn Mind. Rusty Lake Mental Health and Fishing. Let the cubes guide you, balance the substance of your past lives, Create the elixir of life and death. Find enlightenment. Yeah, all in a day's work. Extract of the last elixir. Dog. Dog shits it out. Put it in the beaker. Give it to Mr. Crow. I guess that's the formula. Okay. Oh, I thought it was just a silhouette. Okay, this gave me a shape. Thank you. A shape that I can use here. Yes. Okay. Huh. Okay, wait. Yeah? Okay, we got one of the light bulbs on. That's good. So what'd that do? Did it do anything? Did it do anything for us? Aha! It's projecting something. Make the shapes, okay. That's easy enough. Oh, drink the potion. So this is the order. Right, this is recreating what we saw in Rusty Lake Roots. Right, so he drank the potion and he died. And he became Laura Vanderboom. We know her name now, which I'm so excited about. Hi. Does he drink it now? He drank it, and he got eternal life as Mr. Crow. Got a moth. We're gonna feed this to the bat. Bat cat. Oh, he's getting ready for it. You ready? Is it feeding time? Gimme. Okay. I thought it was gonna... <laughs> puke out of keys. Sometimes they do that. I, I guess we're not alone in the cave. <laughs> okay, so we're done with chapter one. This is Dale's photograph. Give me another shape. Thank you. That? I, I can't remember that. I guess I gotta have it all one line, right? Or does it matter? 
Okay, we got it. That means we got another projection. Yes, we can see you much clearer now that there's more light. Another projection, here we go. Okay, so this is different. So at the end of Rusty Lake Hotel, Dale goes down the elevator into the cube world or whatever, and we don't really know what happens to him, so I'm not sure what I'll be recreating here. No? Maybe I... Oh, I see. So we gotta take the diver, whoever it is, to block off the cube from these things. <laughs> uh, and then this goes right there. And he goes here. Oh no! I completely messed that up. Okay, we can go a lot faster now that we know what to do. Please. I know what I'm doing. It may not look it. Yeah, I just got a little cocky there and I went to the one right above the rabbit thinking that it was the right one. So what now? Knife. Stab. There's a rip. Usually when there's a rip, you tear it. Um... Okay. So we got a pot with nothing in it boiling. Hi! Okay, so all the spirits are down here with me. Petri dish here? There's nothing in the Petri dish. We can still form a key, that's bothering me. That's a triangle. There's another one here. That forms a circle. So we got triangle, circle, oh wait, and this is red. That's white. White, triangle, red, circle, this is this. White, triangle, come on. Red, circle. Okay, we'll come back to that. So, is this another one right here? What's this? This is yellow. Looks like a square. Or, yeah. Yellow square, and then this one made some sort of funky shape up here. The blue one. Looks like it's making... an hourglass shape? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we got this puzzle solved, my friends. Blue. That. No, thank you. Yes! Pickaxe. Do we use the pickaxe here? Knife. Give me the knife. Do it, I guess. Great, I got an arm. <laughs> what do we do with the arm? Give this guy a hand. Um... Grind it up. Grind up the arm. Because that's what you do. Dog food? That is not dog food. Sorry. Dog f dogs do not eat human arms. But there you go. Go ahead and eat it. Because we saw in the book that we got to get... Yeah, we got to get this. The dog turd. Very classy. Got the dog turd. What next? What do we do with the dog turd? Hang on. I was right there and I just didn't see it. We make it into some sort of... Oh! That's the Petri dish! Hang on, hang on. We throw this on the Petri dish. Yes, that is what you do. Okay, this is a puzzle. These are all red. 
Oh. Okay, so you want... You don't want any of the lines to cross. Uh... There we go. Got it. Oh, don't give me another one. I don't actually like these. Okay, wait. We move this in, and then we move that in. No. No, this one looks hard. Uh... Yeah, this one looks difficult. Okay, it's actually not that hard, I don't think. Okay, wait. I got it, 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 I got it. Right here, right there. You just turn the cube inside out. No, not another one. Oh no, they're all in the way. Oh wait, maybe we just... No, that's not it. <gasps> there! Oh, I was about to say, there's no way I'm solving that. Elixir. So we got the elixir. What's the last step? Do we boil it? No, we give it to Mr. Crow. Where is he? Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Oh, it gives you a guide on the other side of the... Yeah. Sorry, when I'm solving stuff, it's hard to... It's difficult to speak in complete sentences. Here we go. This. It shows it on the side. Thank you. Making a tile of uh, stalactite putty, apparently. Oh, come on, come on, get on. Please? Why do you go so much slower than the rest? The others are like going a mile a minute. Right here, and then. Thanks. Pickaxe? So we build it just to destroy it? Bottle with water. Bottle with water. Do we. You said you were thirsty. I need my drink. So this isn't your drink. I need my drink. That's not your drink. Okay. It's time to do that thing where I go through and I see what I haven't solved yet. So I've solved everything on this screen. I picked up the pot there. I did the bug. Um, did the spiders there. I ground up the human arm. I did the microbial puzzle. I did that. Here, this is still open, and that's because we need to make a key. Do we need to make the key out of water? I think we're done with the dog. I think we're done with these two for now. Here. Right, I gotta repair the tube. Do I boil the water? Do I boil the elixir? Oh, you put the water here. We just put the water down, we put the elixir in it. And now we have a drinkable elixir, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to drink it. <coughs> Hello! Yeah, there's something back here, aha! Okay, so we got what what's his name? Aldous Vandermeer or whatever. Gimme, give gimme give new shape. Oh, come on. I'll try to remember that. Right. Oh, it actually wasn't that hard. <laughs> Another projection for us. What am I doing here? Getting the cubes? Black. No. So it's a combination. 
Oh, the fish point. I didn't notice that before. Very easy now that I see it. Oh, oh, the white cube! I didn't even see that. Ah! Pickaxe? Ore. Okay. So we have ore. Do we smelt the ore? This is not hot enough. Liquid metal, we use this to make a key. Quick, before it cools! Give me. We open this up. Tape. Ah, yeah, we use the tape on this. Pump him full of oxygen. There we go. Where are you? Give me the extract. Is that? I recognize that voice. It's Mr. Owl! Dale's journey is about to start. You have to gather the memories. We need them for our future. The fool elixir. Descend into the great depths of the lake. Take care, Aldous. Oh, we're Aldous. We're not... We're not Dale's grandpa. Okay, thank you. Diamond and Laura's card. Okay. For some reason, I thought we were Tails' grandpa. Okay. There we go. Just give me that shape. S. Okay. Let's draw it. I did it. Okay, so that's the fourth one. That is the very last one. Hello. Okay, so that's the first puzzle. This one. This is the second. Oh wait, no, that, that was the second. This is the third. Woods, Mr. Crow. Hmm? Oh wait, they're, the, they're pointing to these. Green for Mr. Crow, green diamond, and then... Orange for them. What? Uh, okay. Oh, wait. Huh. This gave us the solution for this, I think. I just gotta re-examine it again. Oh. Get dunked on. Are we literally going to the depths of the lake? Oh my god, there's so many things. Chip in a bottle. Take the cork off. Uh, depth equal 40. Three to the left and two down. And that's... So wait, are we in the hotel right now? Oh, okay, so this is... So three... Uh, wait, two? Huh? This would... Oh yeah, and then two down. Right. Okay, I'll come back to that. Give me that shell. Give me that empty ink pot! Let me see this. No, it's Morse code! Don't make me do this! Yeah, yeah, I'll come back to that. Nothing's working. Okay, we can move the claw. 
There's so many things to look at. Mental health and fishing. Oh, wow. <sighs> okay, wait. Is that a hidden cog? No, it's not. This. Depth, 40. X and Y axis. Three and two? No. So X, three, Y, five? I think that's what it is. Yes, we did it. We activated it. Um, but then there's, there's a bunch of other ones that we need to adjust. Do I, do I slide these? We need more things to light up. Is something new lighting up? This is lighting up. Um, <laughs> The only thing I can adjust is the knob, I think. Oh, it runs out of juice. Oh, okay. So it's a timed thing. So take it to five. Now what's lit up? This, this is lit up. Right. No. Is that right? <laughs> we got two green lights there. Oh, I moved this thing. So I gotta go south. One, two, three. Right? Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Five. And then we gotta go west. One, two, three, four. South five, west four. So that's what this is for, actually. And this, oh my god, I didn't even, I didn't even know what to do with this. South. South five, right? And let's watch it go. Yeah? South five, west four. Keep going, please. Okay, now we gotta go west four. This is <laughs> making my brain hurt. West four, where was it? Just remembering where everything is. There we go. So this, this'll do it. Right there, okay. We are here. Now what? Depth of 40, right? Oh! We want that. We definitely want that. Time to play the crane game, everybody. Get your Mario Party hats on. Give me that cube. Yeah. Give me that cube. Where'd you send it? Here? No? This is a tube. Here we go. Drag. Okay. Oh. Hang on. Yeah, we got it. And there's Harvey. <laughs> Gimme. White cube. So now we got a white cube. What do we do with the white cube? <laughs> oh, wait, what?
We want the fish to go in, right? To the tomb? Did I do it? Fish. Okay, thank you. Yes, it is a fish. That much is true. Um, okay, I get it. Go inside. Nice. Mm. Uh, this? Maybe I didn't need to mix them up. I don't, I don't really know. Give me that piranha. Calling it a fish. The thing will bite your head off. Why is there a button? Wait, this is wrong. Right? Oh no, oh no. Okay, so the button opened the thing. We got it, we got it. It's not that accurate, thank god. Puffer fish, cool. Oh no. Oh, I messed it up. I didn't know it was gonna come from down there. Right here. And then right here. So what are all these fish for? Why am I collecting fish? How would the protagonist, Mr. Crow, know to do this? Okay, get... Yeah. And then... Please don't hit that. Thank you. Grumpy little anglerfish without the angler here. Any more? No more fish. No more fish in the entire ocean. We robbed it of them all. Do we put them on the hook here? Um, okay. That one's heavy. Maybe... Okay, can I, can I take them off? Oh, wait. So this one, this one's definitely very heavy, okay. That's, that's too close to the fire. That's not gonna be good. Go on the bottom there. Okay, we've got them even. Um... We want them even with these uh, arrows, though. I did it, and I was just messing around. What happened? Owl. <laughs> Thank you. Owl. Owl. Yeah. O W L. What'd that do? <laughs> Great. Yeah, hi. Put him in a bottle. Put him in the shell. What? Give me that. Thanks for the pearl, idiot. Pearls are worth a lot. <laughs> um, guess that's a compass, so I na now I'm gonna go through and make sure I've... Yeah. Looked at everything we need to look at. I think I'm done everything on this except for that little visor thing. Do we put the pearl? I don't know. I don't know why we would do that. It was just a thought. Don't be mad. Oh! Oh! <coughs> Give me the protractor. Triangle. Whatever. Depth 30. No. Oh, we're crying out loud. Um. Wait. Let me see this. Depth Equal 30. So it's between the hotel and the mill or whatever. Or I can't remember. And that's like... What, so this? It's so like that? That leads to X is 1, Y is 3. Right? Am I thinking about this right? 
Maybe it's more like this, which would mean two, two. Let's see. Because of course. Okay, so west one, north three. West one, north three. I got it. Uh, where is it again? West one. One. Wait a minute, what? Oh, hang on. I think maybe we gotta get this down. Wait, we don't have power again. Oh. Oh. West one. Right? And then once we move that, I think it's done. Can I, can I move it? North. Three. Right, and then. Thirty depth. Yeah, we got it. Look, right there. So what's happening? Okay, there's a weird angler fish. I don't know why. Give me this though. Gimme. Right there. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, we'll send that black cube to uh was it this thing? There will be blood. I like to say that. There will be blood. Okay, so we got the black cube. Um, time to put that in here. Now that I know that that's where it goes. Thank you. But uh, where do we go next? What's with this anglerfish? Is it time to use the Morse code? I think it is. Yeah, there's something going on here. Down. Am I trying to get the anglerfish to eat the fish? I've done weirder things. Okay, so if so, it's not that bad. Um, and then, no. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I just wasn't looking, as always. Up, and, uh, let's see. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Okay, so we went up. Okay, clear it. So now, left? It's either left or west, but I think it, we can't spell west, so it's gotta be left. Uh, F. Oh, there it is. I didn't see it at first. Uh, there we go. Yeah! Eat it! He's giving me a message. Um, let's see. Two dots. I. Um. N. K. Ink. Ink. And that goes here. I and K. Where's the N? There it is. No, no. Well, it's something that was just gonna give me ink, but it couldn't be that simple, could it? Oh. So I gotta, I gotta press the suction cups in the right order, huh? Hmm. 
There we go. Give me that ink. In the empty ink jar. This is, this is literally the empty ink pot. Thank you. Now what do we do with the ink? Full ink pot. Thank you. Bye bye octopus. Okay. Um, what do we do with the ink? Put it right there. What? You spilled it, you idiot. Zero, zero. So, uh... Four, six, depth of zero, zero? Four, six, zero, zero. So in that case, we gotta go west to south four west to south four <laughs> this one's a little bit more tedious than the other ones that i've played west two yeah navigating this thing is a pain in the butt especially with just one of us west to south four so here we go south four this should be it. Oh no! I said west instead of east. That's fine, we'll just go east four. Okay, so we got it. We got it right this time. And all we've got left are matches, so I gotta think we're nearing the end of this segment. Yeah? We're there. But we're at the wrong depth. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. I forgot to adjust, uh, thingy. So we've surfaced, right? And we've done it. Another black cube. Gimme. Here you go, Mr. Owl, your precious black cubes. At least we know where this goes now. I take the long way every time. Boom. Let's see it. That's the clock. Oh, we gotta... Gotta line it up. Mm, right there. And then... No. It's... This right here. No? This. And then. Oh! Well, no, we got it. Thank you for the blue cube. Okay. So now. It goes. Hia! Now it's red. Interesting. Do we. He's missing three fish. Do we have to do we have to somehow give him three fish? Do we care? I don't think we care. Um What do we do with this ship? I mean, do we get out now? Are we at the surface? Oh. Hmm. Oh yeah, we got to make him catch we gotta make him catch three fish! That's literally what we do. Wow. I was kidding. There we go. You didn't catch that? Really? Make it a little bit lower then. <gasps> Shark! Um, no, that was really close. Can I get it here? Got it. Any jump scare? No. Now let's look. Now he's got three fish. Oh yeah, I got three fish. 
Yay! Oh, he's giving me a sign. K. T. K I T. Kit? I thought he was just excited that he caught three fish. What is this guy getting out of this? Fishing hook. We use this to get the ship. I've been waiting for this moment. Get it. Um, does it fall here? <gasps> Depth equals 50. One, three. Depth equals 50. X, one. Um, uh, so one, three, 50. No. Hmm. There we go. Three, four, fifty. Wait, is that right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was in there for so long, I couldn't remember if the depth was correct or not. Okay, I just need to go north to west one. <laughs> north to... And then west one. Should be simple enough. And let's make sure that we're... Come on. Come on, come on. Give me my 50 depth. Oh my god, you pressed this. Sorry. And that's 50. Right? There we go. Now, what we got here? What? This broke? Save the cubes! Do we look through here? Hi. Do I break out? This is the path that Dale walked. Is this where the elevator led? We'll know for sure if there's a white cube at the end, I bet. There's no white cube. Oh wait, there it is! I think we just found Dale. <gasps> there he is! What are they gonna do to him? What? Yeah, hi. You watching?
I've never seen a golden cube before. What does the golden cube do? The white cube is for good memories. The black cube is for bad memories. The blue cube is just for memories, right? I'm not actually, eh, I can't remember what the blue cube is. So all three of them together create a golden cube. So did, did Laura, AKA William and Dale just merge? Did they just transfer William who was in Laura, reincarnated as Laura, into Dale? I'm... I'm a little lost. <laughs> let me know what you guys thought about Cube Escape the Cave in the comments, and let me know what you think is going on with the story. I feel like I've been keeping up fairly well until just now. I'm Maybe I just need some more time to process what just happened. But, uh, yeah, another great entry in the series. Really looking forward to playing Rusty Lake Paradise. It'll probably be a while because it's a very long game. It took me long enough to play Rusty Lake Roots a couple weeks ago. It took me like a month or something like that. Maybe even longer. So, it'll, it'll come in a little bit, but uh, that'll be the 12th and final, currently final game in the series, although there's another one that they're working on right now, which I'll be excited to play that when it comes out as well. So yeah, great stuff. Um, I didn't really like moving around in the little submarine cube thing, though. I didn't really like that. I liked everything up until that, and I liked the overall story, of course. I just didn't really like catching the fish and moving around on the map and that stuff. Minor complaint, though. Otherwise, good stuff, as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.